Hey y'all, I uh, wanted to talk to y'all about a recent purchase of mine, the Eve Room. Uh, just got this in, I was going to do a little unboxing. So I uh, recently had several things going on, I had, had the construction going on uh, at my house involving the, uh, the chainsaw retrofit that I showed y'all. And <clears throat> while the eaves were open, a contractor left. Uh, some areas untarped when a big heavy rainstorm came in. The summer had the uh, highest rainfall that we'd ever seen in the area. And we ended up with some mold. Subsequent to that, uh, we got spray foam installed in the attic. Uh, open cell foam in the rafters, creating a, uh, a attic space that is now part of the envelope of the house. There was a good deal of off-gassing. Uh, from that, that left a unpleasant odor for really almost a full 72 hours. It, we even detected some hints of it after that. Uh, then, then, you know, Omicron hit. Uh, some question as to who in the family might have even gotten it. So uh, indoor air quality has been been a topic of concern recently and Eve recently updated their Eve room to include thread and I've, I've been big on thread it uh, it really works better than Zigbee in my opinion things actually work with hubs and um, Eve uh, makes home kit devices I'm, I'm big in the home kit ecosystem um, Nothing is stored on a server. It's all stored on the local device or on your either the local Eve device or your local hub, which I have both Apple TVs and a HomePod mini. So I decided that this would be a good indoor air quality sensor. Uh, one, one thing that I did want that uh, I couldn't necessarily find uh, everything I wanted all in one device wanted home kit and I wanted it to have VOCs, the, the mold and the uh, spray foam are both big VOC candidates. I really would also like to have, uh, you know, something like PM 2.5 might need a different sensor for that. It just doesn't seem like any of the VOC sensors have PM 2.5s, uh, particularly the European sensors in Eve is a, a German company, I believe. Uh, the European sensors just don't do PM 2.5 for indoor because they consider it an outdoor issue and their their buildings there tend to be built much tighter. And I'm I'm trying to improve the tightness of my building day by day, but it, it's not there yet. I, I still have a lot of old leaky windows and uh, until everything is made perfectly airtight, uh, I'm gonna be con concerned with PM 2.5 inside, though not as concerned as um, VOCs at the moment. So we'll begin with the hard task of depth perception while using a camera. Go ahead and pull the tab. The box seems on par with most Eve accessories I've purchased, which is a little bit higher quality than your your average smart home device, but not anything absolutely static. Oh, that's nice. It's got a little flap. <laughs> got the card with the home kit code. A little instruction manual. Satisfaction card. And then the actual Eve room device and a charging cord, which is, oh, come on into focus, N micro USB, not USB-C. That's disappointing. So that's the device, that's its thickness. It's got the, there's the charging port. So that's nice that it charges. Is there something to hang it on maybe? Or does this have to sit on 
It looks like it has to sit on a table or something. It would have been nice if I could have hung it from a wall, maybe a... I guess I can't, can't really do double-sided tape with that uh, charging port on the back there. I'll make it work, though. I'm Really, this probably could go out of the way on top of a piece of furniture or something. So, I'm gathering that this probably comes uncharged, and I guess this is an e-ink display. That's what it looks like. That's nice, because that will use very little battery, as will Thread. So, I was saying, I really like Thread. Zigbee uh, requires you to have a hub, though. The, uh, the way Zigbee devices are manufactured, a lot of times they really only work well with uh, the hub from the same manufacturer. Philips Hue is the the obvious, everyone knows about it. Philips Hue devices do not want to work on other people's hubs. People will write drivers. Philips will try and break those drivers with uh, firmware updates to, to their, their hardware. Uh, then one other one that I've been burned by was Ikea. I was able to get some Ikea devices to pair with a different Zigbee hub but the functionality was just not present. Um, if you really want to get deep into something like uh, like Home Assistant or, uh, you know, what is it? Hubitat, something like that. Uh, then, you know, you, you might be able to, to get some good functionality of these things. It's just a lot of work. And with Thread becoming more and more popular, the devices just work and they work low power and one benefit that thread has over over zigbee is it's ip addressable and to the average consumer that probably doesn't mean much but i find that ip addressable items just tend to to work better there's less dropping and failure to connect issues. It's it's like a separate Wi-Fi network, essentially, for just smart home devices. I've been very pleased with it. And and the thread might not have quite the low power usage leading to extended battery life that Zigbee has, uh, but it's much better than Wi-Fi or Bluetooth devices. Uh, Bluetooth doesn't have the range. Wi-Fi just drains the batteries. Thread is a very nice middle ground that kind of accomplishes lots of different needs in the smart home industry. So uh, I was very happy when I saw that this came out as a thread device and Eve has committed to making all of their devices thread. Um, and with Matter coming out, that's going to be another big thing. So very uh, happy to see that Eve made this as a thread device. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to uh, stop this video and I'll go charge this. And then uh, I'll get back to y'all with, with some actual info on the indoor air quality of my house once we can see what it's got to say. So uh, hang on to, for uh, a second for y'all, probably hours for me, and I'll, uh, I'll get back with y'all in a second about this. And I'm back. So <clears throat> got it fully charged, got it acclimated to the space really pleased aluminum bezel solid the whole depth really nice e-ink display as I mentioned confirmed uh, got some different settings on how we can look here uh, so you can have the, the leaf and the stars with the temperature and humidity in, in the corner up there uh, you can have big temperature little humidity stars Little temperature, big humidity stars. Uh, this is this is kind of the one I, I like because uh, a lot of times I want to know humidity uh, just as much as I want to know temperature, and then the, the stars representing the indoor air quality. Uh, quick look on here, um, deeper dive in, in terms of micrograms per liter of air on VOCs uh, can be had in the app gives you history. Uh, I'll probably ultimately, once I put this in its place, not be looking at this much at all. This will be more in the space to be the sensor. And I'll be viewing the stats on the app. Uh, 
<clears throat> overall, you know, thread, e-ink, you know, low power usage measures a lot of the things that I'm looking for. Could it measure more? Sure. Um, but especially, especially in, in a package this size, this is great. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll get some different sensors and place them in different places around the house. Uh, really, really like this. Really pleased it's thread now. Uh, this makes, let's see, I've got three thread Eve plugs, two thread Nano Leaf bulbs. Now this thread Eve room. And, of course, the HomePod Mini is the thread border router. Um, I'm building a nice little thread network. Uh, already while wow. while thread devices are just starting to to appear I notice Eve has announced they're gonna have thread uh, motorized window blinds not really my style uh, I go with much more traditional drapes personally uh, but uh, if you are into that the more modern style with the the solid window blinds I would I would check that out but uh and Eve is really knocking it out of the park with some of their, their products really pleased with this um, an e-ink display is also so easy to read because it is static. <laughs> just just wanted to let y'all know uh, how I'm enjoying this product. And uh, hopefully uh, my dehumidifier will be installed in my house uh, in, in, in within a, a week. Uh, I've got a, a new Vocolink humidifier in the bedroom for for days like today when it is very dry. I'm trying to keep that humidity in that 48 to 53% range. Uh, having a device like this will help. Though the Vocalink actually has its own uh, humidistat inside of it as well. So even more data uh, help increase my indoor air quality, reduce my energy usage. Uh, thing, things are gonna be very pleasant with that. And you know, decreasing that energy usage decreases your reliance on others reliance on the power company either just less reliance on them or ultimately maybe you can lead to you uh, getting energy independence so just wanted to share that with y'all thank y'all for watching uh, go ahead and ask you to do the internet video thing hit like hit subscribe there's the, the little bell button I don't know somewhere around there for notifications um, do all that you know you could get in the comments Treat me like uh, like you treat Grand Thumb. Make fun of my medium-sized man hands, as he would call them. Uh, <laughs> you know, engagement is engagement, so let's get engaged. Uh, you know, in the spirit of Grand Thumb, I'll offer you all some, some dad advice. Never park directly in front of the bar. All right, thank you all for watching. Talk to you later.